Hey what's up guys it's Rob from Heroes Avenue here to give you a quick update on a character that we've all been itching to hear more about and that character is of course Green Lantern. So in an interview with Newsarama, the legendary comic book creator Jeff Johns went ahead to give us a little bit of an update on when we can expect to hear some news. So here's what he had to say at the end of the interview. It's a really exciting year to have Doomsday Clock finished up. I'm doing more comics, Stargirl trailers out, Wonder Woman 1984 is on its way, and a lot of work with Green Lantern outside comics that hopefully you'll hear about soon. I feel very, very lucky I work on the characters I do with the people I do. I couldn't be more fortunate, and it's been a time intensive and challenging year, but a good one. So that's what he had to say in the interview. I will link the article from Newsarama down below. Highly suggest you check it out. He spends most of the time talking about his Doomsday Clock series that just finished up. And guys, if you have not read Doomsday Clock, I highly suggest you guys read it, especially if you are a big DC Comics fan. It took a year to roll out, but was absolutely worth the wait. And it felt like a love letter to the character of Superman from Jeff Johns. So. Man, I just can't highly, highly suggest that enough. So make sure to go check that out, guys. But in terms of Jeff Johns himself, he's been kind of a polarizing character for DCEU fans. And that is because he was reported to have a major role in the shakeup with the whole Zack Snyder situation uh, in 2017's Justice League. He, he obviously wanted a different direction for the, the DC universe. And it looks like his decision-making helped... Uh, create the debacle that happened with Justice League. Now, I'm going to say this just once in this video, hashtag release the Snyder Cut. Uh, we definitely want to see the Snyder Cut released, but uh, Jeff Johns outside of the DCEU is definitely a great comic book writer. He is definitely responsible for some of the uh, reinvention of DC's, some of, some of DC's biggest characters like The Flash, Green Lantern, and he's even created characters like Stargirl. And he is definitely someone I admire very much. I enjoy his uh, most of his work that he's put out, and he's definitely still a major player in terms of uh, DC uh, related uh, projects. So we do know that he is going to be working on this TV series with uh, Greg Berlanti for HBO Max. And this is something that has been worrying fans just because fans wanted to see Green Lantern on the big screen. Now reportedly they're still working on a Green Lantern Corps movie. However, we have gotten no updates in regards to that. What we do know is that the TV show is on its way and there are rumors that this TV show may lead into the Green Lantern movie ultimately. So that is really exciting. Uh, so just wanted to give you guys this update on uh, what Jeff Johns had to say. Looks like we don't have to wait long in terms of getting an update on this whole Green Lantern series. Now we still have yet to have any Green Lantern Hal Jordan cast. Perhaps they're not even going to go the Hal Jordan route. Maybe they'll save that for a movie. So we don't know really what to expect here. What I'm really just hoping for is a high quality TV series that uh, hopefully it is a shorter run, so maybe eight to 10 episodes and just really high quality. The character of Green Lantern has to be done right because the 2011 Green Lantern, while still enjoyable to some, definitely left a bad taste in the mouths of many people. So he deserves justice and I, I'm hoping that Jeff John's direction here is going to work well for a TV series. So I know this is kind of an update to an update video, but uh, I haven't made a video in a while. I still haven't completely moved in, guys. So while I'm settling in, maybe doing more of these voiceover style videos. So let me know what you guys think about the topics we talked about here. If you read Doomsday Clock, let me know what you thought of the ending to Doomsday Clock in the comments down below. Thanks, guys, for watching. If you didn't already, make sure to hit the like button. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell to be notified for all our videos. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.